Emily, for us tonight, it's every bride's worst nightmare when something goes terribly wrong on her wedding day. And on Sunday, that's exactly what happened to a bride in Guelph. Just hours before saying I do, the zipper on her dress broke. As panic set in, a neighbor came to the rescue. CTV's Mark Venema joins us with more on this tonight. Mark, this is truly a case of the right place at the right time. Yeah, Megan, it was Sunday afternoon. Almost everything was closed. The wedding party didn't know what to do. Lucky for them, a family of Syrian refugees had just moved in next door. It was the day Joe Dew had dreamt about since she was a little girl. Perfect weather, a perfect venue, and what she thought was a perfect dress. We were already running late, and then this happened. Her wedding photographer, Lindsay Coulter, was documenting the day when she started to notice some panic. I guess one of the teeth on her dress had a bit of a snag and it fell apart completely. We were like, oh my God, what to do? The, the zipper broke. This is probably the worst thing that could happen on your wedding day. It was Sunday afternoon in Guelph and they weren't sure what to do. Desperation kicked in. A very nicely dressed woman in a bridesmaid's dress came running up the street asking for our help. David Hobson lives next door to where the party was getting ready. They asked if uh, I had any tools to fix a dress. And I said, well, actually, I have better than that. I have a master tailor. He says he doesn't speak English, but if you want, he'll help you out. Just four days earlier, Hobson took in a family of refugees from Syria. The father, Ibrahim Hilil Dudu, was a master tailor in Aleppo, for nearly three decades. He was so excited and so happy. I like to help Canadian people from my heart. With about 20 onlookers, Halil went to work, and within three or four minutes, the dress was as good as new. They are, they are my hero to save my day. They were all bowing and saying thank you, and uh, he and his son just left and went on their way. I don't think that they even really knew what a big deal it was. The newlyweds didn't have a lot of time to thank Khalil on Sunday because they were in such a hurry to get to the ceremony. So they went back the next morning and knocked on the door. I mean, it could only happen in Canada, I think. And we're just so lucky that uh, that happened to us. And we're I so know. grateful. Immigrants themselves, these newlyweds say they've never felt more proud to be Canadian. Everybody is really realizing the world's a small place and that you can really make a big difference by doing small things for individuals that are close to you. And Halil says his number one priority right now is to learn English, but he is also looking for a job in this area working as a tailor, and certainly he has made a pretty good first impression. Megan. He absolutely has. Customers will be lining up. Thanks so much, Mark.